Hello and welcome back, I'm Bebo Joe and this is War Crescent Resources 7 Republic Season 8. Uh, we did a lot of planning here last time and this is literally 20 seconds after that. Today I'm going to try to get the city started at least and planned. And if we're lucky, I can start looking at the industries, but, um, well, not at this speed. Hope you appreciated that. One of the reasons why I keep night mode on is also because the rain is amazing, and I don't fully understand why rain is tied to day-night cycle, but hey, if that is all what it is to, um, to get that, then that is what it is to get that. I mean, can't fix all the things. Um, let's get through this night mode really quick, and then we can get started. Don't worry, once we have more things to look at, I will let the night mode actually run. We just don't have anything yet, so that's fine. Let's plan. What do we want? I want a city that has 1,500 people to start with, okay? Uh, why 1,500? Because anything lower than that is really just slowing you down hard. Anything a lot more than that is costing you a lot more money than you have in the beginning. But 1500 usually gets you all the utilities, gets your city up and running, gets you some workers for construction and some workers for industries. And that's what we want. So that's 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 what I'm trying to do here. Um, how, how big should the city be? <sighs> I don't know. Um, I just know this. If I build these small... Where is it? Where are you? Not there. If I built the small store, I always want to build the small store. But if I built this one, I can only serve about 2,500 people and then it gets close because then I need perfect everything and high productivity, which I won't have without high loyalty, which I won't have without radio. Um, and then it gets really iffy. So this one probably doesn't work, but 150 worker, uh, 150 visitors, okay. The Okean does more, so this one can probably get us to closer to 4,000. A city of 4,000, 4, 4, 5,000, and that would be nice. This one obviously is like the 7,000 range. Um, I never get to play with the Okean, so let's do this. There is part of me, and I'm serious about this, there is part of me that does not want to experiment too much in this season. Um, I think I've done a lot of experimentation to, I know what the right way to do it is. But I want to see if there's a different way to do it, close to his ride, or better, or worse, or see how that goes. Um, and I think I've taken that to big enough levels where I'm just like, no, let's just try to make it work. So, apparently the store, the Okean, is my center of the city. And let's just say this city is going to go between four and 5,000 people big. No, <laughs> I'm changing my mind. Why am I changing my mind? Because this city is already so far away from the border that it will be very hard to build a second city that's not super close to this one because look at all the space that we have here. The first industry I wanna put really close to the border so my transport of material and goods is very short. But the next industry, we already have rail running here. My next industry just needs to be anywhere here on this plateau, and this city is right in the center of that, so it doesn't make sense to make a smaller city. So we're going to start with the big one. <laughs> as simple as that. Um, plop that one down. This one does need a road connection that is reasonable. It does not necessarily need a cargo station to drop stuff off. It would make things a little easier. We do have stuff coming in here. And we can probably extend this road to actually connect to the city and then that travel distance is not that far. Now, this one is pro- well, no, just from me. No, 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 you know what? This is fine. Um, we don't need a cargo station. We could put a ware- ooh, ooh, we may have a smaller warehouse that I haven't considered yet. So let's see how big you are. You are this big. Um, we can put you right there. You're not- awkwardly big you're not awkwardly little you are reasonable in all the dimensions that matter and i could put you in a lot of different places a lot of different places i don't really want to block that footpath there but i kind of don't care that much about a footpath either let's see can i get that one in there because if i can yes i can just not yet um sorry i'm not doing it right now but 
Um, is this one? No, this one. Much bigger, much bigger. This is smaller. I'm not doing it right now, but if you hit Control and then Delete, it will delete it without asking you to confirm it first, which is pretty nice. Cool. Hey, look at that. I have a little warehouse attached to it where we can just drop off whatever we need. Now, I should have put that on the other side, but you can't have everything all the time, right? Cool. I uh, get that one connected there. Now, let's give me a piece of road. And um, this is not a real road, obviously. That's just my border of how far we can go, but gotta put it somewhere. We put that there. I, I would like to build a couple of the roads and make them gravel roads before I connect all the things, so I'll, I'll try to keep that in mind as I'm building these things. But that thing is here. All right, that's a start. Um, what else do we need? A lot. <laughs> Let's just go through the standard um, things that we need to place down a pub. It's not super necessary, but because our loyalty is low, I will probably, or our loyalty will be low because we can't have radio yet, I will probably build a pub. Um, a cinema? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Put that, put everything in the center of town, and uh, you shouldn't have to worry too much about um, reach, because everyone kind of can reach everything from here, which is very, very important. So cinema is there, culture is done. Uh, do I want an indoor pool, a sports hall, a place of sports, uh, or another sports, or a sports hall? The indoor pool does 90 at 18 people, or 18 workers. It's almost the same, a little better, much better. I think this one, ooh, you're a lot bigger, but you have a tennis court outdoor, uh, outside, that's cool. Don't think there's an animation for it yet, but I like that building. Okay, what, what does this cost? 43 tons of steel versus 25 tons versus eight and a half. Ooh! Oh, how much I would like any of those, but nope, indoor pool. You're gonna be the winner on this one. Well played. Put you somewhere, um, just in reach of this guy, and then we should be fine. All right. Um, there's one thing that I probably won't get for free. Usually I put my fire station in a place where I can cover everything in the city, plus all my industries right at the beginning. Um, I don't think that's going to be the case this time. So we'll just have to deal with that. But that's probably okay. All right. Um, so that's placed. We don't need attractions as much right now. At some point, I probably have to worry about that though. So don't, don't lose sight of that. Um... Hospital, small clinic. Is this one going to be good enough? 15 versus 90. The small clinic is going to be okay for a while, but we do need a real hospital for this size of city. So we're just gonna put that down somewhere. I'm spacing this out very liberally right now um, because Space is not your friend. If you don't leave yourself enough room to do the things that you need to do, you're always gonna get in trouble, and I will get myself in enough trouble by not leaving enough space um, that I need. So don't you worry about that. Um, but hospital right there, also in the center of town, is a good place to go. Orphanage, do I want one? I probably do. I probably, probably do. Um, how much do you cost? Five tons, 13 cents. I, I will put it outside of town a little bit. I don't need it super close, and it does cost a lot of extra money in the beginning. And as long as we don't have a lot of escapees and deaths in the beginning, we shouldn't have a huge impact on the orphanage, uh, from the orphanage, I should say. Um, but the orphanage, if you don't run it right, will cause you criminality or crime issues, which we would like to avoid. So I may, I may just hold off on that. Uh, we do need a school, though. Uh, how big do we need it? We need. Oh, the the old school got a new uh, got a new face. Isn't that nice? Um, kindergarten, kindergarten, kindergarten. Old school is 156 versus 360 versus 540. This one feels like the one that I want, and it doesn't have any road connections anymore. In case you're curious, and where should we put you? Where should I put you? I kind of. Okay. I, I am I'm scoping out a place for um, for the bus station where I want to put that right now. And part of me is thinking I may skew it towards this side, but we, we have a lot of space on the outside of, of these buildings where we can actually place something, so that should be okay uh, to get started there. But this is usually a decision that bites me, so we'll just see. 
Um, but yeah, there's a school that should be big enough. Kindergarten, we just have to place a couple around where the buildings are and where the densities are, and that's fine. University, yes. We can build a very small headquarter of the party. This will give us distribution offices, or more distribution offices, besides the muddy ones in the beginning. Um, that's nice. But a technical, technical university is really uh, what I'm more interested in because we can get a lot more things out of that. Sadly, at the time of recording this, there is no small technical university as part of the vanilla assets. So, um, too bad. I still want them, so we'll just plop it down somewhere useful. No, we're, we're gonna do some residential stuff first. Technical University can go on the other side of the residences because they, well, they will go there. That's important. Cool. We have all those police station. We don't need any of the police infrastructure to uh, begin with because um, crime is not really active until you hit at least 5,000. And then at 12,000, you definitely need it because that's 100%, but... Um, we will be fine for a while without it, so I'm not going to plan for that right now. All the other buildings, all the other things, really don't need it. It's not very important, um, but before I go there, I need to make sure that, yes, I had, a, I had a feeling. I had a feeling that these guys are just being lazy right now, so let's pause that. Let's get some more gravel going. Um, those guys get me one of the uh, construction offices. That's the wrong button entirely. Um, go there and go there. Uh, you. You can get built. Very nice. And then I think I want the gravel guys uh, to be next. Next in line to be built. Do I? Uh, I may hold off on that for a little bit. Let's get some stuff delivered here just to get started. We need explosives <laughs> later um let's get some food first maybe some alcohol we don't need fabric yet clothing 24 tons is more than sufficient electronics i would like to try without it in the beginning but we'll see how that goes can i make no i can't clear all give me 100 percent here and then i can adjust the rest so we do need chemicals because water that's giving me that many uh we do need Clothing, 17%, sure. Um, and then, I don't know that we need the other stuff at this point. So if I just give this guy a covered hull, um, this one could change the color, nah. Um, and then allow it to import stuff to here. We should be in a pretty good spot to get started. Let's make sure. Food, clothing, don't need electronics. What else did I turn on? Turn something else on. Um, chemicals. Yes. Those three you can bring there. That looks fine. And then um, I don't have a road depot yet. That is very typical, I guess. Um, let's get one of these. Also just temporary for right now. At some point we do want a real road depot. Uh, just, not, just not ready for that yet. Uh, because one more thing that I want is a refrigerator truck that can bring us in uh, some food. Now, ooh, silly me. Yeah, let's buy one. Um, currently, oh good, it's set to this. Currently, importing stuff will be stupid because we don't have any power, so stuff will start rotting really, really fast. And we don't actually want that. Uh, we don't want to waste our money on stuff that will just go to waste right away. So I may hold off on that until we actually start building the city. That's clever, <laughs> maybe too clever for my own good. But it's something uh, that we gotta do. Yep. Little minions, run around, do your thing. Looks great what you're doing there. Okay. What am I forgetting? Um, I'm definitely forgetting heat. Yep. We're gonna figure that out later. I'm definitely forgetting alcohol. We're gonna figure that out later too. Buildings. All the prefabs are locked. Okay, which means 146 is big. 177 is the biggest we can build for brick and has a quality of flats of 77%. People will not love it. This one has a quality of flats of 94%. That is much better. This one has 50 workers and 82%. Because this is the very first town that we're building, spoil them. Make sure that they have no reason to leave you. And before you do that, make sure that you have a way to actually move people around because I still haven't built a station. And we have some new stations. There is a big one like this, is that going to be necessary, appropriate? 
required. Um, maybe? I haven't built this one yet. Okay. You don't build it here? Um, I don't, I don't hate that idea. Now, the nice thing about the new stations is the capacity. 2,000 workers. This one's not going to flow uh, overflow like the, the little ones that we had before. 800 workers for this one. It has, it's two directional. It has a, an in and an out, which also has its advantages for sure. Do I want this one or do I want the other one? This one or the other one? This one or the other one? Um, they don't cost a lot of steel, if I remember right. Six tons versus one ton. So there's a there's a slight difference here, but it's really not, really not crazy. I, th I think because I haven't played with this one, I would like to use this one as my as my first victim. Um, so plop that somewhere in here where there's space. And now we can build residential, um, well, now we can plan residential buildings. Um, building these is going to be just a little further, further off. How about we do this? Um, what is the distance here? I should, I should know that before I do something too silly. Get those measurements all the way from here approximately to here is 200 meters. Perfect. That is half of the distance that a gravel path can get us. That is actually really good news. Um, okay, let's turn the grid on, not because I want these gridded out, but because I want them um, to be somewhat aligned with something. And we're just going to count out workers, I guess. What is this? This is 150? Yes, 150. Um, so 300, 450. Um, 600, very good. And then um, 900 right here. Okay, we're still in range of everything, I think. 900, and then this one, the last one should be, if you let me build it. Uh, sure, 1200. Let's move this one over just a little bit so it looks the same-ish. There, 1200. So 1200 people over here on that side. That's almost, that, that, that will get us to the 1500 units that I want. Now, obviously, I did not turn off get citizens on any of these, and I will do that for all future buildings. I'm not going to redo those, but all future buildings, make sure that you click this button because that's one of the, one of the only ones that auto purchases on um, in realistic mode. Sadly, I missed that very clearly. Um, but I kind of like this to just continue. So um, we are 1200 now. How close do I want to be? Just this close. 1200. Um, 1500 and yeah if I want the university there I have to figure out something to do there too 1500 at least at least we can see stuff right now and that's nice I'm trying to make sure that the footpath is actually not completely blocked which it almost looked like it was but now this is fine uh, 1500 and uh, just a couple more and I am probably happy and they're they're fanning out a little bit i can tell um but that's that's honestly a good start let's turn that off let's get day back and yeah this is fine i do have to tell all of these buildings something very quick and that's the last one very good so yeah those are set up and this is at least two thousand people and we can have a lot more coming in there so that's fine this is not super densely packed and that is okay these buildings are way too densely packed um, let's just leave them alone, figure them out later, because this is spaced relatively nicely, everyone gets a nice view, uh, whatever I was doing over here is just not gonna work. Okay, uh, don't mess around with gravel paths when you start, because that is, that's just a thing that you don't want to mess around with. How are we doing over here? You're still building that, that's nice, get me a little more road here, and I think we can start building these roads as well. Yes, we're not going to go right there uh, because that that's definitely going to be a road that we're using. But we're also going to use this road uh, potentially, especially once we get to winter times and delivery. Um, that will matter. OK, uh, footpaths. Mm, let's let's do let's do utilities first. OK, uh, first utilities, probably heat. So let's figure out how much heat each of those residential buildings wants. You want a heat tank. 10 cubic meter our heat pipe can handle 300 cubic meter 
Um, don't go all the way up to the max because you will lose just a tiny bit. So, um, is that th 30? No. 10 is 100. Yeah, th that sounds wrong. <laughs> that sounds a little wrong. Shouldn't be able to build 30 of these uh, for one heat exchanger. What I'm, what, where's my math? Where's my math missing? Um, has to be missing something, but no, I think I think that's right. 10 buildings gets us 100, 100 cubic meters. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we only got eight, so honestly, two normal sized heat exchangers, if I place them semi-appropriately, I wanna make sure that I'm not blocking any, any footpaths or anything else over here, and I kind of already am, um, but two simple heat exchangers and this one is fine if you're in range of everything there you go um will actually do a really good job and then i just need to place another one somewhere else central in the city and we should have no real issues like i could even place one right next to this if you will let me nope <laughs> there's there's a factory connection right there that yeah won't let me do it um well Placing one here would also work because this is the center of town um, and having two heat exchangers here will definitely be more helpful than having one. So yeah, why not plop those two down there and they can figure it out. So heat, done. Power, um, same thing. Let's look at the building. Um, what's your max consumption per day? 17 megawatt hours. What is your breaker? Circuit breaker, 292 kilowatts. That is, let's say, a quarter or a third, closer to a third, somewhere in the middle. It's about a third of a megawatt. And our um, largest power line that we have can do two and a third megawatts. So um, three of those buildings almost is one megawatt. So this wire could handle seven by itself. We have eight. So let's just do three, three of the uh, of the power lines somewhere in here. It would be nice if they get an update that they don't require a footpath connection anymore, but you can't have everything right away. So if we spread out three of these <clears throat> semi-evenly in the city, we should be set at least for right now. And that was three. And they're just plopped next to our buildings and that should be fine. And we should be able to run uh, the power lines out here when we when push comes to shove and that is good hey we have something done uh should we move people over here no not quite yet i would like this stuff to all get graveled up and then we can start thinking about actually moving people over cool at least that's all working i still have some money because i haven't really bought anything yet besides some vehicles and some cheap construction uh but we're getting there okay so power and heat at least it's there it's not connected to anything but it's there it, it gives us something so the next thing that we need is water let's figure out the water situation um over here we have heat tank water max daily water consumption 6.5 cubic meters a day okay um that is 65 cubic meters a day at 10 buildings we're just going to use that so 65 um, our largest water pump, uh, sorry, water pipe can do double that. So we can do 20 buildings per substation effectively, which tells me at this point, all we need is one simple little um, water substation to keep all of these people happy. Once you put a water substation down, you also need a, a water sewage connection somewhere. And I was planning on using this just because I had a feeling that this one is not going to be um, as nice. And as I, I, I feel like I was right. Putting the sewage in this uh, cloaca when it's done <laughs> is, is appropriate. So let's first get the sewage discharge in here. And I always have problems placing this, which is a joy. Um, can we, what do we have? I do have one. One teeny tiny bulldozer. So let's put that one there. Can you actually? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. There you go. All I need is a flat enough area where I can actually get this thing in. 
Am I going to place? Why? Why am I not placing? Um, required to be in the river. Can't build on the water. <laughs> um, am I going to build a sewage plant? At some point. Um, not in this city, though. It's. <clears throat> It's not right. It, it it doesn't help yet. It's not producing the waste, uh, which would have made it valuable. It's just it's just the building that eats chemicals and uh, spits out sewage still. So I have to build this uh, sewer connection regardless of what I want to do. And that's just that is what it is. Um, can I just get you somewhere to agree with me, please? Thank you. Can I make a small? Yes, I can. Cool. Okay, I'm going to finish this in here, and once that's done, uh, we can move on. There we go. That wasn't hard. It was just a little low for no reason. Um, but now we are good. Cool. Um, so there's our sewage discharge coming in in a little area like that. That's nice. It's night again. Uh, what do we need to build? I think this road, these roads... Um, you're already done with those, really. Yeah, no. It, it's starting to take on a good shape. By that, I mean uh, stuff is being constructed relatively quickly, which is great, but now it's dark. And I hope we're getting to a point where we can stop skipping nights and actually see something, but we're not there yet, pretty obviously. Um, so there you go. What was I doing? Oh, sewage. D sewage discharge. And this one, the only reason I was waiting was I wanted to know where I have to point the sewage tank because one, I want the sewage tank to include everything that the um, water substation includes. But then I also would like to have it point in the right direction, which it now is doing. So that is excellent. Next things, uh, we need water and I actually see an opportunity here, uh, which is water treatment plant, water treatment plant big. It can hold about, okay, that opportunity is gone. It can hold about, um, it can produce enough water for 13,000 citizens in a city. Very, very easy. Um, we're not going to hit that number, but I don't want to go with the smaller one just because I'm used to this one by now. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to start. Putting this here. It's not the center of the city, but it's somewhere near there. I'm not going to put it there because I didn't want it that close to the road. So we're just going to try that again. Uh, we obviously have heat. Uh, so, sorry, we have sewage connection and we have power connection. So that all is good. That distance should be just fine. And then we can start doing some basic water stuff. Like, let's build a water tower. Um, to get a water tower working, you need to put a pump. Uh, build the big pump because the small pumps are really uh, just a joke. So yeah, we can put this one here, get a big connection, get you in there, get you in here, um, F3 so we can see something, we don't have to make this super ugly, there you go. Um, and now we will get water into the tower, and then the tower wants to distribute water, there a water switch is more than sufficient. And that's what we're going to plop here, uh, definitely feed it with the big pipe to get started. There you go, and then I'm just going to use a big pipe to connect to this one, just because it's easier for what we're doing, not because it's totally necessary. But, if you want to plan that your substation is supplying 127 cubic meters of water, you need to supply 127 cubic meters of water, otherwise that's not going to work. Alright, next thing. Some people have a lot of issues with this one. Um, I will say I don't. Um, so... I. Maybe I'm just doing things different than uh, than people sometimes do, and that's totally fine. But all, I, all you have to do is figure out a slope. If the slope is not there, it doesn't mean you can't do it. It just means you have to adjust your slope. So look at this. Going over there is what work, and going over here does not work. So I'm just going to move the switch to a location where it looks like it's more promising that something will work. Up here, you can see what our height is. Um, oh, you, for, for that, you just have to go here, open the tool for measurement, and then leave it open, aka have it pinned, and then we'll stick around for you until until you're done. And then you go, look, what is our current elevation here? It is 12 meters, so everything is going uphill. Okay, that's fine. If everything goes uphill all the time, then we just have to find a better place 
uh, for this connection, which seems to be maybe down here. Is that ideal? No, no, not quite, but we can probably find another one because all we need to trigger is 12 meters. Was 12 meters what we had? Yes, 1216. So anything below 1216 is going to be a winner. So we're just gonna go down this way, plop down a, a building. Uh, it looks like it's night again because it's it's nice and weary, 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 weary um, outside, but that's fine. And now we just connect it here. And as you can see, it's happy. It's totally happy. Cool. Uh, let's turn this one off and let's get rid of the night mode so we can uh, continue doing this. Cool. And um, yeah, then we just need one connection. And this one definitely has to be the big pipe. If you do, if you make this one a small pipe, you have a really big problem because very often, especially in bigger cities later on, you will only have big pipes really running from A to B. And then this uh, sewage collector is completely useless, but we're not there yet. Great. So that is in and that is in. They can start working on a couple of them, I think, if they really wanted to. Um, no, they're, they're not connected to all the things yet. And that is totally fine. I think this is starting to take on shape as in um, give me just a little tick and then come out here probably have to zoom out a little bit to see what I'm trying to do here um, give me a little bit of straightness and then yeah there we go there's a road connection that will work and that makes me happy uh, get gravel on here and yeah we, we don't have to start the city before all of this at least is gravel i don't i don't need the side streets to be gravel but everything else please gravel up thank you um here this road is not what i need it to be but it's currently doing some gravel stuff over here ah eh, that's fine there is a bug um where if you if you destroy this road right now it may go into a state of deconstruction of constant deconstruction and won't actually do anything anymore and that is super annoying to get to that state um but we'll just have to deal with that uh, another thing that's currently happening is we are out of dump trucks they're not dr well they're they're fully utilized but they have really long distances to drive so stuff is not getting done um at the speed that i want it done which means we will start constructing this because we have a lot of vehicles just parked there so they can get those things done and that should speed us up just a tiny bit what do we have left we have left a heating plant okay heating where do we want you i'm not going to build a small heating plant because we're already planning on a big heating um heating heating <laughs> we're already planning on heating that is going to be a lot um i could put you here um that gives us a easy access for huh don't hate it i don't think gives us easy access for coal that can come directly with a single truck that's good it already has that road connection there and that should be easy and good um we have an angle and it's definitely far enough away for heat from there yeah now let's run this uh heat pipes should you build a underground heat pipe or should you build above ground heat pipes too long oh no uh still too long when are you how far can you go about a thousand meters okay um underground heat pipes they don't lose any heat and that alone is definitely a reason to just build underground heat pipes otherwise you just lose so much heat so quickly that well, you won't be happy. <laughs> I'm not happy. And it took me a little while to figure that out. But the above ground pipes lose so much heat on such a small distance that it's just frustrating. And um, this takes all of that frustration and it's just like, oh, no problem. I know what you want. And then uh, stuff just works. That looks very good and fine. I think that is all connected in the way that I needed to. So now we just go straight to our heat exchangers. And yes, I don't mind that I have two that are effectively right next to each other here um, because they will just ensure that um, the core of the city is always going to be heated. It's dark again. It goes so fast to get to from day to night. 
Um, all right. That is just a connector there that will go away when it's built. Those all look fine. Yes, I don't think we have any pipes above ground, which is wonderful. So that one can go away. This can get its normal road connection. That is fine. I am semi-planning on having some, some footpath connection here because look how much space I have to work with. There's a footpath there. Um, all the way down to here. I could do a footpath this long and um, still drop off people just there, which is really, really nice. So I'm kind of counting on that being able to happen. Uh, for some reason, the game decided that this has to be a one-way um, workload connection. No. Yes. <laughs> Two-way. Thank you. Um, and that should, that should work and get us some things done. Should I move people around into that construction office? Honestly, not right now because all our resources are still down here. But there will be something that we will worry about very, very soon. All right. What else do we have? Power. Okay. We can fit power into today's episode, probably, because I shouldn't make a pig's ear out of that um, just to get started. Now, you are my meat truck. Yes. Where do we need power? We need power in several places. We need power on all our storages. Okay. Um, I would like to place you in a place like this. I like this. Okay. That covers really everything besides those, besides everything here. So everything here gets a separate power. And I actually want you to look this way. Yes. Um, these are all claws. They have to be, they have to be powered. So I can't just uh, skip one. So, um, here, yes. I like this. And then I think I like this and um, that covers this. Cool. So there's two here and three here. We definitely need a transformer somewhere, right? Yes. So let's build the transformer first because that's the easy one. Um, should we build that here? Let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. I could put it on this side. Does that make more sense? It really doesn't make a huge difference right now. Mm. What does it? Don't make a don't make a pixie out of this. It's fine. Uh, yes, there is where we're going to put that exchanger, and then we're going to build a simple medium voltage switch just to connect this thing. Are you done yet? No, you're not done yet. Uh, that's the wrong one. We need high voltage. There you go. Uh, we're just going to pop that one here. This one just has to be connected to the thing, and that is on. And we're just going to get the biggest wire that we can currently cross there. Cool. Uh, should I spread, uh, spread? Yes, we're gonna spread this out just a little bit. <laughs> it, lo it looks a little more pleasant if we do this. Uh, okay, let's get rid of that one and get more more wires in here. Cool, that looks fine. So that one can get built. Looks like it's already built there. Whatever. Uh, that's the first one. The next one is I do know that I want industry out here, but I also know that I may want to use the high voltage switch with priorities. Um, but that's not gonna work because there's only one in or one out. So how about we do this? We'll split out the high voltage into many high voltages and do that probably right here. Um, sadly, it doesn't have everything that we want. Well, th this wouldn't help. It's dark again. I can't see the road. <laughs> it, is, it is nice. Um, I, I consider turning it off in the in the beginning, but then again, I, I really think it's very pretty, so I don't want to turn it off. Uh, I hope you can uh, can forgive me. Um, shall we put you here? I don't love the location, but it will do the things that we need it to do. We could just do a simple one like this and have you go this way. Honestly, that is fine. Let's do that one. Voice! Okay, um, that is here. I don't think I'm gonna go complicated uh, regardless today. That is here, that can just connect in there. And then this industry can just figure out what it wants to do. That is totally a-okay. The next thing that we need is connect this to something and I don't have problems running this relatively straight as long as it lets me run it relatively straight that's good then we can cross the road here that's also probably good 
and then just follow the road up to a reasonable point and not plop in there unannounced but plop in there like this cool now we have power now we have everything that we need from there very good um should we get these connected to the city ones or should we connect them to um the industry one that's coming up here great question i was planning on connecting these to the city one um but that may be that may have been a bad assumption let's see can i run this just in parallel to to the big wire yes yes i can and i kind of like that and then up here just last at the last resort you just go up there and pop in here that is fine and um, i think we're just going to flip this one around yes yes uh, electric substation you just go on the opposite side just because of um, directions and if we do that we may as well reuse a junction uh, okay that's fine and you can just run all the way over here let's give me one extra one and then this can't say it's my specialty but it's it's what i prefer you, you can do this but uh, <laughs> distance between poles too far because it doesn't place them where the poles are which is unfortunate but this will be fine because it will at least look like it's a really busy pole <laughs> and who doesn't want a really busy pole that is i mean it's obvious uh you go there you go there you go here 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 you may be wondering if you can do that with um with poles that are on on the grid and the answer is no uh, because the grid is a single point and it will not let you build two of the th uh, same thing on a single point so that is not a thing i will wait to connect these because i don't have gravel uh, path connections yet and we need them uh, to make everything work here so it, i don't want to uh, put the horse in front of the no the cart in front of the horse yes that's how we can say that. Um, let's get you connected to something. And it doesn't have to be a perfect, really perfect connection here. So, yes, you can come in there. Um, Semi-straight. In here. And then out there. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. Uh, you go there. And then somewhere in here, is, this thing is going to terminate. That's great. They can all connect to the things that they want to do. That's also good. There is a little bit of heat pipe sticking out, but we already talked about that, that that probably goes away once they actually figure it out. And this one can go here. Very good. That is helpful, but not all of it, because these, all these, all these houses still have to be connected to something. Um, footpaths are really easy and fast to build. You're right. Uh, let's just do... No, no, stop it. Just, just let them build their thing. It's... <laughs> It's fine. We're going to take out the little piece that we just added. Uh, because, again, these are just slowdowns for all our gravel construction. Which we don't want right now. How's this going? Uh, you still don't have the gravel that you want because stuff is probably happening here. Um, what? No fuel? Why? Oh. <laughs> hey! It took me, what, an hour to get the first problem. I think that's pretty good, <laughs> especially for me. Uh, yeah, they, they can figure out what they want to do. Uh, the power lines, they can start constructing. That is not a problem. This, we'll just have to get into it later on, and that is fine. And yeah, there's a lot of gravel and a lot of things. Um, a little bit more of city that we have to think about. And uh, then we actually have to make sure that it all gets constructed, which... Um, I don't want to go away, so I will try to show you parts of that while we plan our first industry and um, maybe we prettify something. Who knows? Who knows? It's hard to tell, but we are at a distance that is not super close to the border, so it will take just a little bit of time, um, at least until we get this gravel thing figured out, and then we can go uh, crazy. Thank you so much for watching. I uh, really appreciate it, and next time, more of similar things. So, see you then. Bye-bye.